This is how computers use bubbles to sort. Imagine having 10 bubbles of different sizes, next to each other, frozen in time, submerged underwater. Let's simulate time going forward and let the bubbles rise. Let's stop the time and see how they are arranged. As you can see, the larger bubbles with more air in them are faster than smaller bubbles, and thus they would reach the top first. Even though it may not be visible yet, if we keep all the bubbles at the same height and move them to the left, we see that this simple simulation has sorted the bubbles. The concept that we should take away from this for sorting on a computer is that larger bubbles should reach the top first. Let's now take this concept and convert it to three simple rules that a computer can follow. Rule 1. We pick the first bubble. Then, perform the following two rules until you reach the last bubble. If the next bubble is larger or the same size, we pick that bubble because it should reach the top first. Otherwise, if the next bubble is smaller, we pass that bubble because we are faster and we should get to the top first. So we swap places with that bubble. Now that we have our three rules, let's see how we can apply them to a list of unsorted numbers. First, we update the terminology in our rules from bubbles to numbers in a computer. Pick the first value and repeat the following until the end. If the next value is larger or equal, pick that value. If the next value is smaller, swap places with that value. Now repeat these rules for as many numbers as there are in your list. And then we have created the computer algorithm, bubble sort. Let's see how the algorithm now works by applying our rules to our list of random numbers. When we do so, keep your eye on the largest number and see it rise to the top first. Let's perform the first rule and pick our first number, 4. We then perform the following two rules until we reach the end. We apply rule B because the next value, 3, is smaller than 4. So, 3 and 4 swap places. Next, we compare 4 and 5. We now apply rule A because the next value, 5, is larger than the value 4. So, we set the value 4 down and pick the value 5 as our value to follow. Next, we compare the 5 we just picked with the 1, which is next. 1 is smaller than 5, so we swap places. Then we compare 5 and 2, and we once again apply rule B, because 2 is smaller than 5. So they swap places. 5 has no next value to compare itself to, so we have completed rules A and B until the end of our list. We notice how 5 is the largest value in our list, and it has risen to the top first. To complete the bubble sort algorithm, we have to repeat our set of rules four more times, since we have already completed one of the five repetitions. Let's walk through one more round together and then speed up the animation to see the algorithm at work. We start once again at rule 1 and pick the first value, which is 3. We compare 3 with 4 and we see that the next value is larger, so we perform rule A and we pick 4 to be our new value. Next, we compare 4 with 1, and 1 is smaller than 4, so we do rule B and swap places. Next, we compare 4 with 2, and once again perform rule B and swap places because 2 is smaller than 4. Finally, we compare 4 with 5, and 5 is larger than 4, so we perform rule A, and we pick value 5 as our new value. Then 5 has no more values to compare to, so we set it down, since we have repeated all our rules until the end of the list. Let's now speed up the animation and see the sorting play out. This list was rather short, so there wasn't much sorting left to do. Let's take a look at an animation with 10 numbers in a list, and see how our algorithm bubbles all the higher numbers to the top first in order to sort the list. But before I do so, I'd like to thank you for watching the video, I really hope you learned something new. If you did, please leave a like, and if you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing. Have a nice day, and enjoy the bubble sort algorithm working its magic in this animation.